Good morning, fam. Uh, today's passage is coming from 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, and it reads, Ye are of God, Lord's children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Listen, I simply want to remind you that there is greatness inside of you. I, I know before we get started, I know you want to think that this is another uh, feel good message or some motivational speech. But what we find what we find here is that the Apostle John is primarily addressing the growing um, the growing popularity and influence of false teachers. And I want us to hang on to that word influence, uh, which is defined by the power to have an effect on people or things. Uh, and what, that's what we find, that's what we see in our world today is we, we when we look at the images uh, that we see on TV, whether it's uh, the shooting of uh, our brother Ahmad Aubrey, who was gunned down in the streets like a wild animal, or we see the cop kneeling on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds, or we see, we hear about the senseless killing of our sister Breonna Taylor. Uh, those images and those uh, those sounds or, or those stories um, uh, causes a reaction within us to respond. It, it, it causes us to want to respond in a very negative way. Um, emotions that were that we thought were dead and gone and buried a long time ago because of the images or the influence of those images um, causes those emotions to uh, to resurface. Listen, as a black man in America, I am I, right now. I am struggling. I'm grappling with. With my emotions. Yes, a part of me uh, says we want to peacefully protest, but an another part of me says let's burn it all down. There's two sides that are literally wrestling on the inside of us, but the influence of or these images or these 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 responses by these um, these white officers uh, is the influence of biases biases or prejudices um that's within them they they look at us as as black and brown people as less than and, and what we have to understand is that is the uh, result of the, the 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 fallen nature of man and ultimately it is the result of the pu puppet master satan himself he wants to get us uh, to act out of our character he wants us to blow up on the job he wants us to give up and he wants us to act or he wants us to, uh, to, to, to lose control. But I'm here to tell you that greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. You got to understand in 1 Corinthians, he says that, the, that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so if you are a spirit-filled believer, you are fire baptized in Jesus' name, and you have the Holy Ghost, then, then literally you have the omnipotent, the omniscient, omnipresent God living on the inside of you. And because he's living on the inside of you, then you are already victorious. You only need to let go and literally let God move and have his way and protect and guide you. Listen, we got to stop worried, worrying about how are we going to respond? Yes, we need to respond, but we need to be led and God and allow the Holy Spirit to guide us. So often we are, we, we, we allow our emotions to override the Holy Spirit. We allow what we see or what we hear to override the Holy Spirit. We allow pride to override the Holy Spirit, but at some point in time, we have to become like the pilots who are who, who literally fly through the turbulent storms every day. They don't rely, they no longer rely on their sight to get them through the storm, but they, they get to a place where they trust in the instrumentation to guide them through the whole to through the through the storm. We have to get to that place where we when we when we uh, are approached by the storm or we engage in spiritual warfare, we have to get to the place where we allow the, the, the Holy Spirit, our instrumentation that's inside of us to lead and to guide us through the turbulent storm. But in, And when we do, we are promised that we are more than conquerors, not through Ralph, not through ourselves, but we are more than conquerors through Christ who gives us strength. We are The, the Bible says that the 
there is no weapon formed against us will be able to prosper, not because of Ralph is in the gym or, or because Ralph has uh, such a large vocabulary or he knows how to cuss or do whatever. No, not because of that, but because of the Holy Ghost. When the ho when you allow the Holy Ghost to move and you allow the Holy Ghost to react and you allow the Holy Ghost to respond, then you are going to be victorious. You are going to be on, you are going to come out on top. That's why the Bible has called you uh, the head and not the tail. He's not going to allow you to be defeated by the enemy uh, because that's going to make himself out to be a lie. Listen, I know that in times like this, we at times we 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 uh, get outside of ourselves and we feel like we're losing control. But today I want to challenge you to reconnect to your power source. Listen, just like any of our mobile devices, when we go too long without tapping into the the, the power source that's within us, the Holy Ghost, then we too will will will, will die out and lose and lose uh, our capability to perform. Mm. Uh, listen, listen, we have to tap in. We have to recharge. We have to plug in to the power source, which is the Holy Ghost. And we do that by uh, this morning when at 11 a.m. when the live stream comes on, we can't just uh, turn on our phones or, or open up our iPads and lay in the bed and just uh, just watch for entertainment. But we have to get up and get dressed and, 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 and put it on the TV, on the big screen and stand up in the middle of our living rooms and as the praise and worship team goes forth we too got to have our hands raised worshiping and praising our God we, we we have to reconnect on Monday nights in our prayer or whenever your prayer time is whether it's with a group in a group setting or whether it's in your own personal intimate time you have to go beyond your level or level of comfort and you have to have a fervent intense prayer crying out to God so that you can reach heaven. So not only are you reaching heaven, but heaven is reaching you and pouring back into that reservoir that has ran empty. Listen, I don't care who you are. Over time, you will run uh, low in your power. So today I challenge you. Yes, uh, you have you have greatness living within you. But I challenge you today to reconnect to your power source so that greatness so that greatness that's inside of you can grow and flourish so that you can be the conqueror that God has called you to be. I hope this blessed you this morning as it has blessed me and helped me through these times. I love you and I'm praying for you. And I just ask that you uh, once again uh, reconnect to your power source today. And I promise you, um, you will not be dis dis disappointed. I promise you that this week, if you will recharge your battery, if you will reconnect to your power source, I guarantee you this coming week will be greater than the week before. God bless you and we'll see you soon. Love you.